All right, everybody, guess what? I'm here with Storage Legends. We finally made it to Orlando. Guys, what happened? renting a car in 2022 has never been this difficult. Stay tuned. You will not believe what happened. Unbelievable. Back up. Oh, there he goes. Oh, there he goes. So you can't use a company credit card to rent a car. No businesses no. rent. No, no not businesses. with a company name on it. It's got to have a physical person's name. My on physical it. person name is on it. I know, but it's got to be in the system. That's so. Well, so your system's the you problem. Want, I'm just saying you your want, system's the problem, not my card. I'll just have you talk to a manager because I know you probably don't believe me. Well, it's not that I don't believe you. It just doesn't make any sense because I mean yeah, I've been running cars for new, with company credit cards for about thirty Maybe years. Another company, but with us, we switched over to the chip and oh we don't my, have yeah, the swipe. So dollar and so ever since dollar so fifty no and businesses hurts. could rent from dollar and fifty. If it has to have, it has to have a legit name. name it has my legit name right there. I know. It's not my part. It's system's not lighting up. So wait, okay, so what you're saying is that when we reserve the car, we oh, have you can to... Use, you I can use this use card it, to reserve yeah, it. because we can't this is see the, the card. credit card. We can't see it to reserve it. We don't physically charge so, but you. So on the registration, though, you, come you back. should put your name instead of second sense is what you're saying. No, when no. you swipe the credit card... She's just saying the credit card is not pulling up my name, name on it. It's pulling up my company name. It's not lighting up your name. It's lighting up the company name. So you might want to call the credit card company up and tell them that it needs to have your name lit up because we swipe it. We have the chip system. Well, I understand, but like I, swipe, I understand, but and I just I said it shouldn't show. matter if it's a second sense or it has. I'm gonna say it's in my name. I mean, it's okay if you don't have another. I can, I can, I can have you speak to a manager if you want, if you like. I just want to get my car. I see, I see or we can just use a different call and then tell them to transfer it. You can do that. It's I don't understand why. I have to, I just, it makes zero sense to me. Why can't you guys just override it? I mean, my name's on the credit card. There's no way to override it because it's our system. No. It's our system. It automatically does it, and it won't go through. The names have to match up. My, oh, so I it's just can't like, It's just like I a husband and wife. A husband have, can't use a wife's credit card. I understand, card, but so this is my credit card with my name on it right I there. <laughs> the same. So where's the issue or problem? There should be no issue problem. I'm going to get a manager. Yeah, yeah. Grab a, yeah, 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 grab a manager. Yeah, we'll go see, back and the manager forth, has yeah. a little bit more power and like we're going to see yeah. if we can override this. That's crazy. Man. Well, it makes zero sense. Dude, so how in the world does that make any sense? So you booked... Like, okay, well, so you booked it, I would understand if my name wasn't on the credit yeah. card, but it's on the credit card right there. It literally <laughs> says Robert Zabos, <laughs> second sense, dude. I mean, you booked it. How, okay, let me ask you something. How long have you been booking rental cars? I mean, dude, you've been in business for a long time. I've For about 30 years. 30 years, dude. I never had an issue Has in my never life. never been an issue? Never been a problem now, in my life. what's so crazy about it is my debit card says Storage Legends, too. How is there an issue? There should be no problem. There should be no issue. There should be no issue. Yeah, Thank honestly. you for your patience. No, absolutely. I just want to get to the bottom of this because, like, I was going to try to use, like, my card, but, like. Yeah, it says ink slash two second and then since beside it, it doesn't have your name. So I understand. That doesn't have my name. My name's on the credit card. I'm just saying. Okay. So there's no, it should be. I don't, here's the issue. It's a business card. My business is paying for the the trip so why wouldn't i be allowed to use a business card and my name is on the card itself just because it's not pulling up in your system okay sir if your name doesn't pop it in the system but it can't accept it if you return we can accept it upon return okay. but isn't that the most asinine thing i've ever heard i can't take it upon return. i'm just saying you say you can't take it, it now but you can take it when i come there it. it has to have your name on it. but my name is on it sir if it doesn't i understand what your system here i can't accept but i understand but my, my name is right on the back of the credit card as clear as day, Robert E. Zaba. I booked it with this credit card. The problem is that you need the name on the computer, is what exactly. you're saying. So you're saying your computer is making a mistake. Is, is second sense. Exactly. Okay, so what do we do? What, what, okay, what are, but I need to be able to process the rental. I have to have a credit card. That you? when we swipe it, your name populates here. If it does not populate here, it cannot accept it. Okay. So Zero okay. sense. Wow. I mean, it's a corporate thing. I can't. I can't override the system. This is. Well, I understand, but you guys do with business 
people, travelers every day. Yeah, and business it's, travelers have it where their name shows up on there. So you're saying, so uh, so I'm not a business traveler, bank, so my name's not your, showing up on as there? As your bank set it up, that's how it's going to pop up. Right, so the so bank set it up with the name populating first. I cannot accept it unless your name populates on there. So you can't accept it unless his name the most is asinine on thing. your computer, pretty much. Not yes. on his card, because yes. his name's on his card. Yes. Yeah, right. yeah so my name and my journal. no sense. Okay, so sense? our options, basically, are to go get a whole other reservation. No, I'm not telling you to get a okay. whole other reservation. Okay. I can process the rental as long as I can have a credit card that will populate the name. On so if he, I'm not denying any rental. No, absolutely. I'm just, absolutely. I'm just, I'm just trying to understand. Anything. I'm just trying to understand. So if he doesn't have another credit card well, let's try this with card. his name on it, in we'd be that screwed. event, we have to get a new reservation, correct? No, we don't have to get a new reservation. There are options. There are options. Okay, that's why I was just asking. There are options. options. Yeah, there I'm are just... options. I'm giving you an option. So if you can provide me a credit card to go ahead and process it, we can go ahead and do that. If you don't have that, then I can do it at his rental if he's a business associate. But I just have to confirm that, and then we can process the rental. So there's different options. What website? I'm just saying. I use this card to secure this reservation, correct? Mm -hmm. So why is what? You're actually what, securing the vehicle that you're going to be driving. Right, I understand, but they should have had something there, so they should have stated, "Hey, you can't use the this card." Reservation card. site does tell you that. If you look through a third party, it's their responsibility to indicate. I looked through Thrifty. Okay, but, it tells you on the email that you receive with the confirmation on it that the credit card has to confirm it. You get a deposit on it. If you do debit card, it's the same thing. They tell you there's policy, policies. I understand all that. I understand. You know how outrageous, though. For your opinion, though, isn't that crazy? Like, or no? No, because I've I've seen that. You've seen this already. You work here, so you are. No. But I've seen that you can identity theft. Identity theft. Okay, so you. If your name doesn't populate, if it doesn't populate on the credit card, you can have your name on the credit card and populate someone else's name, and then I can't accept it. It right. has to populate the same name that's on the driver's license and on the credit card. But it's in his this case name is or... saying a business name right. on here. It's not telling me your your name. So, but if you so it, it, what's it. wrong with the business though? Why couldn't you I do a business? Thank but you. None of the new hires came to the counter. I asked everybody. No, none of them came here. here. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, okay. I, I understand, but that's insane. Well, it makes zero sense. What yeah, do you mean? I, I don't agree with it, but I understand what they're saying. I understand well, what you guys are saying because well, you're speaking English, right? Well, it should right? say so second I get, size. I get it should like, say what second you're saying, size, but, but like, I don't agree with it at all, man. I mean, if they're if the if the owner of the business. Is is document? If you can Google my business storage legends, you know my name Andrew Alvarez is the owner. And you can Google Second Sense, and the owner is Robert Zabos. It shouldn't be an issue because whether Second Sense or the literal business owner. So you don't need any coverage. On your I didn't. I never said any of that. Yeah, I was asked here earlier. You never asked me that okay. question. I'm just letting you know. You okay. never asked me that no, question. That's okay. I get all on video, so. I, that's okay. Okay. He's waiting for me. Oh, no, I'm over here. He's waiting for me. Oh, no, you can come back. Or everything's good. We're good everything's now. Everything's good. Okay, so what exactly happened? You called your credit card company, and yeah. the credit card company talked to Thrifty. Yeah. Yeah, the and bank. They approved to me. me. Julie, yeah. They know that I'm good. And then I talked to my manager, Brenda, the one that was here earlier. Uh huh. And then and she Brenda said, "Brenda, okay, if I can get if I can get something with the business his name on it, I verified it with the bank." I gave my card, my so my business good. card. Oh my God, and my last business card I had on me. Thank God. All you had to Don't do worry, was show your good. business card. That is insane. So okay, well, so no, she had to get approval. Right, right, she had to talk so, to the bank. So yeah. we got the we five got steps, the, man. So five good. steps. Let's go through them really quick. She made an exception. We don't do uh, this. I appreciate it. Yeah. Like I said. Never had this issue in my life. Okay. Wow. Don't worry about it. You know what it is? It's all because you know we have a new system. It's the it's the chip system. I know the, the chip. Swipe when you swipe it, we don't see the name yeah, on it. You swipe exactly. it. You know. I gotta do a bit because there's a big scratch up there. Sure that there's no writing on this car. Yeah, there's no writing on that one. Sure. Yeah. No writing. That's because normally it'll be on the window, but not the scratch. When you go to the ATK, you don't need to all right. All right. We're good. We're good. Just a big scratch on the back. We're good. We're getting out of one car. He's looking for another car anyways. Yeah, that one was nice. 2.0 is in effect. Oh, she said, hold on. All right, Guapo. It's been raining hundreds. We've been getting hit with pennies out here. But we're still here. <laughs> All right, everybody. Andrew and I, guess what? Wow. We are about to do an unbelievable adventure. What are we gonna do? Oh man, I guess something with a jetpack and water, man. What? Completely unexpected, guys. We did take a trip 
what the next day so we couldn't do shark fishing so we have to all right everybody fly board rentals over at orlando we're gonna see if it's worth it Waffle. are you ready oh man here we go i'm ready Story this was completely ready. rob's idea i have no idea what's going on storage legends here it's a a company second sense of this amazing journey. I never know that you did this before. No, how high can we go? How high can we go? Holy smoke. Take a look at the boots. And there is one of the jet boats. How we doing? I'm Robert. You want to call me? Yes, sir. You're the one that how much you weigh? No, I'm not that dumb. <laughs> That's my buddy. You'll meet him. You'll know in about two seconds. Like, oh yeah, I can understand. I thought I just saw him standing next to you. Yeah, he's right up there. I didn't listen to me pulling it up no more. Oh no. Two. Nice. Nice. What are the probability of me dying? Zero. Awesome. Okay, guys, we have nothing to worry about, so don't worry about that. We. Um, what's the probability? It is storage of legends. Having fun. Hundred percent. Are, are you? Hundred percent. No, here. we're not we live. Guys, hundred percent. We're making so. video. So we're not really, we don't really have much to worry about at this point. I'm, I'm honestly, my nerves have honestly calmed me down here. We'll have to send out a shout out to Flyboard yeah, so Orlando. To Flyboard Rentals of Orlando. You guys hit them up. Um, I'll, I'll give you an honest review as soon as I'm done. I'm yeah. Honestly, I'll give you a We'll have to see what, what we think. And uh, it'll be interesting. I'm going to put you out on your back. I'm going to tell you to roll on your stomach. What I want you to do is over-exaggerate, arching your back in, getting the board underneath of you. Stand on the board. Okay. Lock your knees. Oh, lock your knees. If you don't lock your knees, the board's going to be under your chin. It's very strong. Okay. Get the board underneath of you. Stand on the board. Lock your knees and slowly, in small increments, together, bring your feet up a little bit. When your toes come up, you come up. When your toes go down, you go down. Okay? So you want, there's a sweet spot. In the water, flying, being pushed backwards. You'll feel it. Everybody does. It's not that big, okay? Stand on the board, lock your knees, and slowly raise your toes. When you feel yourself coming up, your feet are in the proper position. You don't need to keep raising your toes. Okay? So, so you're, we're going up from our stomach, not our back. Correct. Okay. All right. How many feet high can you go? It's a 50-foot hose. I can put you 50 feet in the air. I'm not putting you 50 feet in here. Yeah, that'd be a little dangerous for her. Yeah, because the higher you go, now you're on top of me. You're drowning me. And if you're going to fall from 50 feet, you'd fall on top of me. That isn't going to happen. I'm going to have you about this far up the ground. Have you seen this before? Yes, I've seen people do it. I've seen people go high in the air. So wait, we're only going to go like what? like 20 feet, Kern? 10 feet? Is that 10 feet? 5 feet. That's not Your eyes will be up around 10 feet, yeah. Oh, so we're not, well, not, not me a little more no, 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 no. Just wait. As you've seen on TV, internet, or person, temper professionals, attempted by a non-professional result in serious violence or death. There will be no backflips, no dolphins, yeah. but you're going to guarantee you're going to have a blast. Yeah, first so. try to get up there. Yeah, you're not a professional. <laughs> it's I'm like water skiing. I, think, I hope you don't run me over. You're so good the first time, I'm sure you'll let okay. you go up an extra foot or two. I tell people, you listen to me, two, three minutes, I'll have you flying. I've flown a seven-year-old kid, 85-year-old lady, and a triple amputee. Mm. So you will fly. Okay, we're flying. Okay. Here we go. This is it. You know, you're going to have to tune in to see who flew more. Comment yeah. below, who's going to fly more? Oh, I can't wait. Here we go, guys. Take it in the air. This is it. Robert Zabos. Second Sons Auctioneer Extraordinaire. Dude, if you were to name one superhero that you are right now, what is it? I'd be flying like Batman. Like Batman? <laughs> <laughs> in the water, dude? I don't know. What do you want me to tell you? There, Mike. I'm going to get you to bring these up first. How we doing, Captain? Uh, doing great. Doing great. Robert! Oh, man. How we doing? I'm uh, trying to put boots on in water. Trying to put boots on in water. Not the best one, but... We're going to have the fans comment below and see who flies more. Second Sense or Storage Legends? <laughs> Probably Storage Legends because I'm old. Nah, man. Come on. I don't want to hear that. You skydove four times, buddy. This is the chef, auctioneer extraordinaire, and now officially Batman on water. Let's let's not turn to Mr. Freeze. <laughs> what's your what's your YouTube channel, man? Second Sense. Yeah. And Second Sense 
Where are you from? Cleveland. Cleveland, where? Oh, hey. Hi-yo! Captain, don't be over there telling secrets. I don't know, man. He's a good guy, but I feel like a lot has to do with his th throttle and uh, how much how much gas he gives you. So we'll see if Second Sense makes the stunning flight apparatus work. <laughs> All right, guys. While I was filming, I literally just fell. I literally just... You guys complete... <laughs> you go... I just fell so hard and nobody seen. Alright, we're about to head out. I'm freaking out like I rarely go skydiving anymore. Oh man, dude, you'll be safe, man. Just focus. Oh no, I'm not worried about this. I'm worried about you dropping my phone in the water. <laughs> Captain! Captain! Please don't drop my phone. Alright, auctioneer extraordinaire. Uh-oh. <laughs> I feel I have power. Leg strength. Here we go. Auctioneer extraordinary is going out. Second Sense Auctions. Cleveland, Ohio. Oh, man. This guy right here, man. Love this guy. Here he goes, man. I'm going to... I can't even be more proud of him. He better fly like Batman. All right, we're going to have to get better footage. I'm going to want to get on that dock there. I'm going to want to see the takeoff. This is the first takeoff. Okay, yeah, we're going to have to get on the dock. We're going to get on the dock right now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, attempt number two. Attempt number two. Here we go. All right, I'm walking up. I'm still walking up. Still walking up. Here he goes. Here he goes. Stand straight up. Ooh. Here's captain for the day. I was yelling captain multiple times, guys. You're gonna have to check out Storage Legends. Check out Second Sense, which you're watching right now. I'm sure, as Robert would say, happy you guys are here. Come on, Rob, you got this! Here he goes. He's trying to. He's locking his legs. Oh, he, he's trying to lock his legs. Well, guys, my personal experience, I got to say it was super crazy. Uh, the captain is very descriptive, um, but, you know, at the end of the day, he has full control over your experience because he's in charge of the gas pedal, which is the throttle, which is what's attached to uh, Rob. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, Rob. Yeah, Rob. Yeah, like we're like on, we're like on a pier right now with a bunch of kids. All right, he's flying. Here we go. He's flying. He's flying. Rob, think of it like the Batmobile! The Batmobile, Rob! Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I am your host, Guapo Legends. And we will be hosting this fly session with Robert Zabos, Second Sense Auctioneer Extraordinaire. Go ahead, dude. Do a cannonball, dude. Do a cannonball. Bust it. Bust one. Oh, yeah, that's diving. There he is. 
There he is, Rob. His name's Rob. His name's Rob. His name's Rob. He's from Cleveland, Ohio. Should we get a Rob jingle? Yeah! Rob, 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 Rob. Yeah! They're chanting for you, Rob. Okay. All right, Rob, come on. Papa. There he goes. Give it to the sky, Dad. That's the captain. That's the captain's throttle. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. Guapo Legends. On the host right now. All right, Robert. Come on, Robert. Auctioneer extraordinaire in the air, flying like Batman. Not really sure if Batman has a has a hoverboard, but here he goes. If Batman had a hoverboard, this is what it would look like. Or if you ever seen an auctioneer fly on the water. There you go, get right back up. Right, oh, there he goes. <laughs> yeah, put your hands up, hands up, Rob. Yeah. He said, did you get that on video? You know what, Captain? You know, you must not know who is recording. This is the Wapo Legends here. It's just hard because I'm literally, guys, I'm literally, the wind is so loud. I hope you guys don't hear the wind. Just so you guys can see the, you guys can see the background here. Right here, nice. All right, here we go. Come on, Rob. All right, here we go. Be the hoverboard, Rob. Be the hoverboard. Ooh. Come on, Rob. We need to, we need you to be a dolphin. There we go. You're flying, Rob! You're flying! You're flying, Rob! See how you got that consistent throttle? Nice auctioneer extraordinaire flying in the air, guys. You see it live, Orlando, Florida. Storage Legends and Second Sense here to show you how to fly. Man, he's getting some air time. See, that 
kept happening to me. <laughs> I wonder what's flying higher. be the hoverboard I'm your host Guapo Legends here and I completely forgot I was recording I'm just gonna go back to the smooth jazz 1073 the wave voice that I have here we have Robert Zabos on the takeoff here going northwest on the southbound he needs to flip over to his stomach there and we need to learn how to fly here he's flipping here it is let's see that takeoff Zabos and we are in the air we have taken lift off Houston we have lift off Houston, we have lift off here. Now, Rob's going towards the jet ski here. Let's see if he's straightening out them legs, Rob. All right, all right, here we go. Now, we're, we're, we're cruising. He doesn't know where to go. He's just sightseeing right now. He's just sightseeing. He's just sightseeing. He is sightseeing, doing a 360, doing it all. Look at him. That's like Green Goblin. That's definitely Green Goblin. That is 100% Green Goblin. You're gonna have to check out both channels to see who flew better, Rob or Guapo. Guys, comment below. This right here has been a crazy experience. Uh oh, I think he's gonna take off again. Hey, yeah, he's taking off again. He 
He's taking off again. Boom. guys the horizon we got Rob right here look at him go into the camera frame you just never know I think Rob's been getting a good stream guys I'm gonna speak for both of us to say we're happy you're here hit that like comment subscribe I'm trying to get Rob to 50k oh man here he goes here he goes Goes. Call me Peter Parker on the camera. Wait, say that again? Who did better, better? Second sense or let us know in the chat. Let us know in the chat. Right there, you got to go to both channels. Check it out. Wait, what'd you think of the experience? Uh, it's awesome. I mean, you're flying on water. You're playing. All right, guys. We went out. Unbelievable experience. You're going to have to check it out anytime you're in Orlando. Come do, what do you call this? Flyboard Rentals of Orlando. Flyboard Rentals of Orlando. Call them up. He'll take you out, and unbelievable, he taught Guapo me how to fly. Unbelievable. Day one, Camp Hales, Guapo and I land. We didn't even think we were going to make it. They didn't want to rent us a car because why? Because it was my company? It makes zero sense. But we ended up getting the car. The company ended up helping us out in the end, so we actually got it done. I, They could have just did the same thing they did, but it took an hour and a half, almost two hours to get to that point. They could have just gave us the car in the beginning. Nothing changed. The only thing I gave my business card, they talked to a lady from my uh, credit card company on the phone. Didn't ask her any questions, just talked to her for like a minute. So I have no clue, but guess what? We got the car. We were able to go to this awesome journey. The other guys, we had George, George, Conky, Jeremy, they all went out shark fishing. So we missed that shark fishing. So we decided to go and have this unbelievable 
I don't know what you call it, water jetpacking adventure, water boots, whatever. It was awesome. And yeah, at first I looked a little rough, but I got the hang of it. So much fun. Like, Guapo's calling me the Green Goblin. So I really appreciate all you guys watching. There's so much more great stuff coming from Camp Hales. You won't believe the time we had. So much fun. Check out all the other guys' videos. And you got to check out Guapo's video. And you got to put in the comments, who flied better? Who, I say, not fly. Who flew better? Me or Guapo? Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.